What up gang, this is Boston Ski here from Snap Jam Woodworks. I want to go ahead and give you a quick tour of my generator enclosure. I finished it uh, end of August in time of uh, before Florence was uh, predicted to come out here to Virginia Beach. Unfortunately, it went down to the Carolinas. Uh, had to be used it here to last for three days after Michael came through the Norfolk, Virginia Beach area. So right here on the end, I have a 12 by 12 shuttered fan, an outdoor outlet box that allows me to pass the cord from the house into the generator enclosure without leaving the doors open. And I also have a bicycle cable or a cable that so I can lock the generator up. I have 16 by 16 household return vents. To the other wall here, I have a piece of hardy board here and a dryer vent with a flapper for the exhaust. This hardy board is sandwiched with another piece on the inside and I cut a pretty good sized hole on the end of the, of the box here so I wouldn't have any problem with the heat transferring to that plastic and then that void between the pieces of hardy board I put insulation. On the back side here I have some more return Vents from the household vents from Home Depot. That far one is a product of measuring once and then go ahead and chopping a hole in the back end of an enclosure instead of measuring twice. But I fixed the other two. No issues there. So I'll open it up here. Take a look inside. So here's the vents for the back well. I got some some scrap lumber here, so I can I can screw the vents into the pieces of lumber. Always stainless steel screws and then I put on some some screens here to keep the critters out same thing in the doors here there's a shuttered fan got a switch here just for on and off it's a continuous beam fan but I just want it on and off I just plug it into the generator whenever it's uh, required the exhaust this was uh, took a little bit of brain power here to get thinking but I got this four inch flexible uh, ducting and I had a flange I put on there it's kind of like a, a starting flange with these with these tabs and inside those tabs I encapsulated magnets to hold it up against the generator's exhaust port and I put it inside this the, that four inch tube inside the six inch piece of ducting with insulation in the void and then took end caps and cut four inch holes and put those on and kind of hold it all together. And there's the insulation for going up into the hardy board sandwich. Nice big piece of uh, hardy board in the back wall here. That's overkill definitely. It's not warm at all back there. Uh, and then there's bricks just to hold everything up and into place. I've had a generator running now almost three days and it hasn't moved at all. It, it worked flawlessly. So the generator uh, enclosure sheds to keep the generator out of the rain. If there was an event to go on and it was raining and windy, the power went out right away. I can go ahead and power it up, run my cord to the house, close it all up, turn the fan on, and let it run inside of here without getting any exposure to the elements. After I built this in the end of August, beginning of September time frame, it was very hot here in Virginia Beach. It was up in the 90s, high humidity. Uh, about noon time in the afternoon, sun's directly overhead, beating right on down in the box. I closed everything up, turned the turned the fan on, put a temperature remote in there, and it was reading at about 127 degrees over the course of two hours, almost two and a half hours. I consider that a, an extreme test. I probably never had those conditions during a rainstorm or or exposure or rain leading up to a hurricane. So I'm very happy with that. After it's all done. With the rain events, I go ahead and just prop the doors open, just let it sit just like this, and power up the house. If it was to rain a little bit, I can go ahead and close the lid. All right, so I got a 30 amp cord on here, run it to the house, had an electrician go ahead and upgrade my panel to an interlock generator switch. So I can power everything, give me 30, 30 amps to the house. Can't run the air conditioner in the summertime because that's over for like 40 or 50 amps. But I got lots of fans and just convenient to have everything going in the house. 
So like I said, I just got done with uh, Hurricane Michael effects here in, in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Went without power almost three days. This thing's been running the house just fine. No problems whatsoever. I checked it at, uh, every few hours. Ran my hands along the hardy board here in the backside. It was always just warm to the touch, never hot at all. And this exhaust ducting here with the insulation I could put my hand on there. It's warm. It, it, it's it's not hot. To, it's hot to the touch, obviously, but it, it's not super cherry hot. I can leave my hand on there. It'd be uncomfortable, but it's it's good to leave my hand on there. So everything worked out well. I want to give a shout out to Jim McGovern. I reached out to him part of my build. He answered me some questions about the hardy board I had. Um, gave me some good pointers and good tips. And then I went forth. I used some other YouTubers' ideas as well. Too many to name. Uh, but I got it all done. So thanks for your time, fellas. Be safe out there. Take care.